Well, deja vu. Hello. Hello. You're back. You are back. And we are glad to see you. We are glad to see you. So press pause. Go get something to eat, drink, smoke, whatever you want. A little water with LSD in it? No, no, not that. And come on back, press play, and let's watch something very special today. Tell me about it. Well, first of all, I want to let you know, I'm Susu. And Boo's, yeah, Boo's over there, Buster's here, and who are you? I am the Wolfman. There you go. A.K.A. known as George Lucas. I don't look anything like George Lucas. Okay. Yeah, he's got glasses. Let's see how he looks. Stop. <laughs> no, I, I take that as a compliment, but I don't think I look like him. But a lot of people have said it, so. Okay. I like so making faces. I love it. She hates it. We, <laughs> we got um, a remark about yep. doing a lot of side projects, uh, reacting to Nightwish side projects. But um, someone said, why not give some love to Empu? And I said, I will give love to the Pocket Viking. Right. She, she I did, didn't know she he had that side she, project. She called, she started the Pocket Viking, and we're looking for someone to draw a Pocket Viking. I'm still looking. Um, I'm so excited, it, though. I haven't ever on. seen him in anything else. I haven't either. Yeah, so uh, this is called Brother Fire Tribe, but yep. I think that there's other side projects he's done. They all have. We'll watch them. Oh, I'll watch no, it. All day. All day, son. All day, son. All right, let's get this box right, over let's get here. This show on the road. Get this show on the road. Son on. of a bitch. Gonna... I'm going to put them on. I'm going to put them on. Okay. Well, you need some help? No. Sure. Those are rated for children, by the way. I don't know if that's true. Come on. Okay, here we go. Everybody, buckle up. All right, guys, you probably noticed that I started it and didn't have the video up, so I'm going to back it up and do it all over again, okay? Oh, that's okay. So you can hear it twice. We're just like two seconds in. Yep. It's okay. I will back it up a little bit. A uh, couple things. This could have come right out of an MTV live video, right, from the 80s. Yeah. This is 80s, the early 90s. The guy even reminds me of, um, uh, what's his name from White Snake? Um, Dave Coverdale? Yes. Uh, it reminds me of, uh, we. I had an in-store with, with White Snake with two of the members, and one was David Coverdale, and uh, was that it? Anyway, regardless, that guy reminds me of that so much. And the groove is 80s all the way. I love it. I love it, too. Here we go.
Okay, so uh, let me get some stuff set up and unset up. And uh, first of all, let me say that this video is but hot mess, but we love it. And uh, even off with all the stops, and starts, and stuff we did. Yeah, uh, our video is a hot mess, not yeah. theirs. No, yeah, ours is a hot mess. Um, That's okay. They're used to it. So. So I met a few members of the White Snake crew when I worked at a music store years and years ago. They came in, you know, they didn't come in to see me, obviously. They came in to do an in-store. Um, oh, yeah. Am I loud enough? Hello? That's better. Anyway, so uh, they came in to do an in-store. But that guy, I mean, he's he's different looking. I mean, you know, uh, Adrian Vandenberg was a guitar player. He was there. Um, the White Snake singer, I keep forgetting his name, David Carnell from Deep Purple, was there, and they're like six feet five. They're very tall, and we were told to go to the mall and bring them through the mall and escort them in, like, like we're bodyguards. I, I was the tallest guy in the group. I'm six foot. Those guys were like giants. I'm like, look, keep them incognito. <laughs> really? Uh, but anyway, I, I digress. Um, I thought it was great. Um, I thought that um, it was, it was so it was, close to ni 80s and 90s rock. It was so happy. Very happy. They were smiling. The drummer smile is infectious. It's always so, so infectiously smiley. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. serious sometimes when he's really getting through a, a difficult part, yeah. but for the most part, just, um, just so happy. Um, yeah and warm and uh, it just makes me smile. He makes me smile and, and then, you know, him being in, I know he's in different bands, but he's in I Wish and he's in this band and he feels like he's so comfortable in both things, right? Because Nightwish is certainly more progressive, progressive rock, this is retro rock. Mm -hmm. And he feels like he's just, it looks like he's just, wherever you put him, he can do it. He's smiling. Everybody smile. That's what I love. Is everybody smiling? Bass player, you maybe like the yeah. drummer. I um, mean, there's a time and a place for serious songs, sure, for heartfelt, sad songs. But sometimes yeah. it's just nice, you know. Well, if you write a song called "I'm on Fire," it's probably not gonna be a ballad because you're on fire. You're running around. You're actually on fire, right? Ah! Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <on> fire. <laughs> I'm on fire! <laughs> I have to write that song. I wrote a love song called I'm on fire. I'm on fire! Oh, well, I love this. I, I heard a lot of 80s reminisce yeah. sound. And I thought about um, the singer from Survivor. I don't know who that was, but you're right. Uh, uh, I had the tiger. I thought about... Uh, like uh, I have the tiger. Yeah, I don't know who the singer was. That's Survivor. Right, I don't know who the singer was. Oh, the name singer. of the singer. I don't know the name of him, but it's just a similar sound. It some reminded of his 80s me ballads. of something you hear off the original Days of Thunder. You know, I mean, that soundtrack was all 80s, right? Oh, really? That's the very first one, yeah. yeah. And so, um, uh, yeah, I mean. But anyway, I, I had a great time. This is a song that I'll put on my playlist. Yes. And you'll like. And then you'll say, have you heard that at least 150 times today yet, Sue? Yes, you And I'll say, nope. And you then I'll what? walk that's, away and play it again. That's for another time because she will watch a show that's been off the air 40 years over and over and over and over again. And I'll come in and I'm like, is this a new episode? I like repetition. I guess. It soothes me. Well, I'm, I'm going to give uh, two thumbs up and uh, a miniature wow. sock monkey. Sock monkey. From my little miniature Viking. Yes. And to the rest of his, the people he's with, all I'm doing is concentrating on Empu and I completely I don't ignored know the rest of the band. We don't know them yet. But maybe we will. We should. And sorry for not giving props. I just, I guess I'm enamored by my son. I loved the it. The pocket. I and, think. Uh, my little boy. <laughs> I would say she's lost her mind. Come on home, get, son. I got would, some corona I would here. get someone to get mad at me for saying that. So yeah. You got some corona? For him. Like a coronavirus? No. He oh, likes he needs beer. beer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, we have taken up enough of your time probably. Yeah. 
but uh, we do love you. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, share with your friends, comment down below, baby. <laughs> so silly. And everybody, be blessed. Yeah, we love you. We love you. And again, we love as you. always, be don't blessed. hurt anybody. Yeah, don't Look do that. Look at my John Prine shirt. Yeah, I'll just show you that shirt. We love John Prine. Yep. If you don't love John Prine, then...